recent release of Chester the AI Radiology Assistant. In this version, version 3, we now have not only a web interface, but also desktop applications for Mac as well as Windows. What I'm going to talk about here is just the basic functionality offered by this tool. This tool is not for medical use now. Uh, it is an experimental prototype of a system. Uh, so first, we will take a look at the basic image predictions. Right? So here, this image has been processed. Uh, and we have 18 different radiological findings um, and their risk from 0 to 100, where 50% in the middle corresponds to a very uncertain prediction, and then 0 means 0 risk, and 100 is the highest risk. And here, if the predictions are over 60%, an explain button will appear, which will allow you to explain why the model made that prediction. And this this explanation that's shown on the image, which we'll call a saliency map, or the, the gradients, uh, this is an approximation of what the model used to make that prediction. So here for the lung opacity prediction, we can see that it's, it's highlighting opaque regions on this, this image. And what we can do is we can toggle on and off those saliency maps um, to get a feel for what parts of the image are being used. Uh, and we can switch between a variety of the tasks that are being predicted. We can also show the raw gradients, which is, is the raw output of the model. Um, here, uh, we were smoothing those gradients uh, to get this nice uh, looking heat map, but this is the raw data and that's available to you to use it. Uh, what you can also do is invert the image uh, to get a different perspective on the chest x-ray. So one important feature of this tool is the out of distribution detection system. So this is important um, to ensure that when we make predictions they're, they're reasonable. So let's say we try to process the image of a cat. The system says no, this image is too far from our training distribution and refuses to make any prediction from that image. Uh, so a cat example is extreme but let's say one of the x-rays are improperly prepared, right? So during the conversion, uh, the image was, was rotated. Uh, the tool can't handle that, so it will say uh, that it can't make a prediction on that image. So this is not perfect, uh, but it offers a, a reasonable uh, solution um, to this issue. All right, so I'm going to look at two images uh, to kind of go over the predictions. So the first one we processed um, this image, which is which is known to have a hernia. This is this is the file name here. It gets gets printed at the top, uh, and it, we've predicted very high hernia. We can hit explain, and the saliency map here will be very focused on the, the center. Um, we can also take a look at another person with pneumonia, and we see two large predictions, one for pneumonia and one for lung opacity. We can click explain on lung opacity, and we can see that the saliency map appears just for one side of the image. This is just demonstrating um, that the model has this sort of uh, ability to highlight just one lung as the cause of that predictor. Thank you.